That was at 1-0 over Mozambique when GJ scored the goal. But Zimbabwe making four changes then with Washington Arubi injured. Mapisa Martin, the uh, Spanish-based goalkeeper, comes into play. So does Melvin and Colo uh, in a central defensive role because the injury to Zingai in the middle of the park is Brian Bunder who makes a return into the middle in the place of Farai. No hesitation. Two minutes into the first half to point to the penalty spot. Kev, we did mention the slippery conditions that will be a key play in, in today's game. As we've seen, there, Reverie Tom awarding the penalty. Good quality cross coming from the left hand side, Nyawa. And Murimba controlling it very well, unfortunately, for Kane, who just swapped him from behind. Quality ball to pick up the top man. Look at that. Absolutely. Penalty. Defender had no business just coming into behind Murimba. He was facing away from goal penalty keeper goes the wrong way Zimbabwe in front they needed it they needed to start on the front foot Zimbabwe we did mention earlier on with one of their strengths Kev being a, a 4-3-3 formation the three in the middle of the park Sarupinda Hachiru and Musaka the new captain see quality cross Murimba, who's been put in for Karuru to start the game. But look at the captain, come collected, put it far away. I would like to advise the goalkeeper. Every time a left footer comes to take the penalty, he's definitely going to the left side of the goalkeeper. But well taken penalty, very calm from the new captain who's taken over from Karuru in today. Two goals for Kodri Amini in the tournament then. This one today that counts for Zimbabwe. He scored their own goal against the middle. Who's the captain today converts? Yes, uh, leading by example, obviously, from the back uh, to take the penalty. And uh, I think it's a mistake uh, with, uh, for the defender who clutches into Mubinda. Uh, unnecessarily so. He was not facing goal. There was no chance that he could turn and take the shot in that fashion. And, but also, that for me, the conditions obviously playing a role with the defender uh, losing control, clattering into him. They used uh, that opportunity very well. Because they play with two flat uh, defensive midfielders, but uh, it is the three just in front of the two plus the one striker. And between Tien and, uh, and uh, Jite, they play a little bit narrow, meaning that uh, they, there was a little, that center of the middle was a bit overloaded. They can play as uh, out-and-out wingers, but they can also play when they change as inverted wingers, which uh, really creates, created a lot of pressure for Zimbabwe. They couldn't deal with the flow of movement from Senegal. Again, another opportunity, what a stop. But also, you speak about Jite being so influential. We've seen something different with um, Jite as well as Diane in the wings. In, indeed, which is what for me is very clever. And uh, at one stage, he was heading a ball uh, in a little bit uh, more central. And obviously, um, uh, Diane uh, using his pace to get past the defender and whipping across his own. There's, a, there's been a lot of balls played into the area, which is what has put the goalkeeper under a lot of pressure here. Um, the goalkeeper makes a mistake in not being able to hold it the first time. If not to show, rather deflect it to the side, but it deflects it into the oncoming. Who reacted quickest, which is uh, Ndoye, the striker of Senegal, who has been there and there in as far as uh, uh, chances created in that front of goal. His awareness yielded the goal for Senegal, but also that tenacity not to...